Hey guys, um, I just made a video and I actually uh, forgot that uh, I forgot my headset, so the sound was horrible. I have to, I've got to make it over again. But uh, it was about 17, 18 minutes, so I'm definitely not going to be doing that again. It's too long, but I just want to um, get this video out because right now the markets are experiencing what some people think is turmoil, uh, especially the crypto markets. Um, at this point, look, don't sell. Let me. Let me get rid of myself. At this point, put myself down here. At this point, look, guys. I mean, you know, if you look at my prior uh, like video, I said Bitcoin. This this is probably the low for Bitcoin, all right? It probably is the low for Bitcoin. And why did I say that? I said that because I used the ADX, and the ADX um, went up to around what was it, fifty something? Um, Actually, let's go back here. It hit a high, uh, not a high, but at the point where it hit the low, it was about 50.80 something. Um, and one thing to keep in mind is uh, that also from the all-time high had a great, great drop percentage-wise. So this is why I think the correction is over. I mean, sure, can we go down and actually test this low and break down and scare the heck out of uh, everybody? We sure could, and we may. Uh, but I, at this point, I really don't see it happening. Um, a lot of volume stepped into the arena. A lot of people are buying at this point, and I believe accumulation has started. But again, that doesn't mean it can't go lower from here. Uh, and one thing I want you guys to remember is I don't speak in absolutes. I speak in areas. Like when I say this is the low, I don't mean this is the, 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 the low to the exact penny. I mean this area is the low. So we could, you know, we're in the low area. Like I don't think we're, we're, we're going to drop from there and go down to like here. You know, I don't think we're, we're going down to like, you know, $2,000 Bitcoin. I think this is the low. Um, at this point, I wouldn't sell. I would, if you do have the funds, I would actually um, buy more, bring down your cost average. And if you do buy more, don't buy one. You need to um, buy across at least, I mean, you know, it depends on your bankroll. But what I would do, I mean, at this point, I would buy across at least 8 to 12. Uh, I have about... I don't even remember, 28 positions open, I think, at this point. Um, you know, I haven't been, look, been looking over the past, you know, like month because I'm not buying anymore at this point. Unless, you know, unless we get a dramatic move downwards um, percentage-wise that makes it, you know, more feasible for me to buy. But anyway, at this point, cryptos, buy more, don't sell. That's um, the... The, the verdict and now what we're going to do okay let's see what's going on here okay nothing nothing's going on there okay no now now what we're doing is now we're looking at the uh the regular stock market uh and if you are trading in the market um i'd be very careful at this point you know again it doesn't mean it is going to go down but we are at an area where uh something may happen you know we're in an area where um if we do start to drop this is the beginning of it um Okay, now, let me see, let me explain to you what we're looking at here. We're looking at every bar is a month, okay? I trade uh, long-term. I don't actually call it trading. I, I guess we could say I position myself uh, for the, uh, the long-term. Now here, now th this platform is called Thinkorswim, for those who don't know by looking at it. Um, and Thinkorswim, while it is a bit cumbersome, and I have to admit, it's not, you know, let's not lie to everybody. It is cumbersome. Um, it's not intuitive, you know, it's not intuitive for some, some other platforms out there. Um, eSignal, for example. I mean, I haven't used it in years, but I mean, that was way intuitive. Um, you know, so Thinkorswim, while not being very intuitive, is an amazing platform if you know how to use it. I mean, there's so many things also that I don't even know how to use because I don't need them. I don't need every single capability, um, you know. So getting back to what I'm doing here, this is called, this indicator is called symbol relation. And what this does is basically, it 
divides one stock into another. So in this case, we're dividing the, uh, the SPY into the UUP, which is the dollar index. So I'm dividing SPY versus dollar, uh, and the graph is a daily graph. I'm sorry, a monthly graph. Uh, here is the gold uh, um, stock ratio. And the gold stock, now let, let me back up a little bit. How I use these, let me explain to you how I use these. And this is very, very simple. No, no rocket science, no nothing. This is basically support and resistance. You see here? Resistance. What happens here? We had a breakout from resistance, right? So what happens here? The S&P 500 broke out. Now, I didn't buy that breakout, believe it or not, because I got flat. I got flat around here. I got flat. By the way, it was two reds. I got flat right here. Um, back in 2015, right? Yeah, it was right. It was two reds back to back. I think it's right here. Yeah. So when this buy signal came around here, you know, I because look here we had a breakdown. Okay, you can take action when you have a breakout or a breakout or a breakdown. You don't have to wait for a pullback and then to go your way again, which I call confirmation. Here, we don't have a breakdown yet. So while we are going down, we don't have a sell yet, okay? But for gold, we do have a breakdown. We can take action. So what, what, what exactly does this mean? This means that the SPY is probably not going to outperform the GLD, which is right here, okay? So we had a breakdown. So here we can actually buy the GLD or gold, the GLD is at 127 and change. Gold is, um, G, what is it, GC? Oh, let's try that again. Gold is at 13.45. So, um, you know, we can buy gold here. So you can buy gold, definitely don't sell your cryptos, buy cryptos and be careful on the S&P 500. Um, I wouldn't buy anymore at this point because the trend is just, you know, it's an aging trend. But having said that, there's a caveat. If all the dollars start coming back to the U.S. this year, we're going to have a lot of inflation. And if we do have a lot of inflation, the market's going to go crazy. It's going to just tear. It's going to go on a tear. I mean, we we, we could see forty, fifty thousand dollars 50000 We could even see 100000 over the next few years um, if that happens. And it's looking like we're going that way. Now, I don't know when it's going to happen. Um, you know, it's, I mean, when it's going it, to, it's already starting to happen, but as time progresses, it's going to accelerate and accelerate. Um, and if you can actually read, not exact, but if you can read approximately where you are in the cycle, uh, you can make a lot of money. Uh, but again, this is very tricky because this is unprecedented because this is the world reserve currency. We've never had such a widespread world reserve currency. I mean, it, it's just, um, I mean, you know, bad things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, stay long in the current, you know, in the cryptos. Uh, be careful with the, uh, the SPY, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, you know, if you're trading, whatever you're trading, future, just, you know, if you're long term, be careful. Uh, you know, because if something does happen, this is the beginning of it. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Um, like over here, it didn't happen. Anyway, all right, guys, thank you very much. Take care and happy trading. And if anything changes, I will definitely make another video. Thank you.